Oh yeah. Dude, he doesn't even need to ramp. Boys, we're dialed for the day. Dude, what, why is he... Oh boys, just checked out the trail. It's fucking mint. Not even any dirt up under there. The whole 20 minute lap. And there ain't gonna be no bike washing today, dude. Mm -mm. Sand's cleaning that bike. Nothing. It's gonna be money. <laughs> First drill of the day, focused on our seated transition. So coming out of the straightaway, a couple rollers back there. It's our first braking point is that cone. That's where we're off the brakes, focusing on a quick seated transition here at the second cone once we kind of come over this little crest. Um, what you guys are doing, I noticed, is you guys both do the same thing. You come in, you brake really, really hard, and then when you guys get on the throttle, it's everything's super aggressive, right? Which is good, you're trying to go fast, I get that, but we gotta smoothen it out a little bit, because when you guys, what I wanna see from you two is a little bit more centered, and Daniel, I say your first one was really good because you didn't do this, but the last couple you did a little bit, not as bad as them, um, but when you guys are coming. That one was good. Working a little bit tighter in the section here. We obviously just worked our transition coming into our corner, so now we're working coming out. Exploding out, making up what I like to call free time. Anybody can go past from a straightaway. So, making up our time from here to here. easy just to find half a second and when you get a half a second here half a second there it's gonna add up a lot over the course of a two hour three hour one hour and a half hair scramble so just a little oh bottleneck bird getting a little aggressive with it I like to see it Let's go. First of all, we're getting up the day on camera. Sammy's like third. How are we feeling, boys? Dude, Bananas? Crack is Guy awesome. doesn't need the tip, though. Nope. <laughs> Crack is awesome. It's money. Oh yeah. Working a little bump hoppage, channeling our inner Jet Lawrence. <laughs> Trying to stay light on the bike with a little light chop. <laughs> Working on a little wheel tap action. Nobody's gotten it yet, but they're trying. That's all we can ask for. The idea is to come out of here, use this first initial bump, drop in, boink. Can't really tell, they're a little bit deeper than the camera lets you see. Um, so you have to almost slow down to an extent for that. So when you guys are coming into it and you just like fast, 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 and then you just get off the back and pull up, it's not gonna work. You have to come into it slow, like at a good pace. If you come in too slow, you're not gonna get any lift. But if you come in too fast, you're just gonna drive through it. So when we drop into the bike by our, via our toes on the bottom of our feet, we drop at our heels. It's gonna, like I showed you guys earlier when we were all sitting over in that second section, if you drop at your heels, it's gonna load that rear end. Or That's the double A rider. That's right. <laughs> it's money. Dude, we gotta, we're gonna change that one day. How are we doing, Danny? Hungry, but we're doing good. 
Oh yeah, dude. It's getting a little, it's getting a little sweaty. It's getting a little hungry, you know. Yep. But we're learning. That's right. This way. These are all doubles. There's a different combination to hit it. There's a smoother. There's maybe a little more aggressive ones. It's gonna be different every time. So I'm right here, where I can land, and I can hop over the next one, and then I see, okay, that one's a little bit sharp. So maybe I don't want to hop over this because if I hop over this, I'm going to land in that bump. It's going to be very aggressive. So I could wheel tap over this at speed. It's a lot more difficult. It's going to be a little bit more aggressive. So maybe I just wheelie over this one. Like I said, there's a different approach to every line. There's a different way to hit it. There's a different way to execute it. But if you guys can at least get yourselves to where you're, you're picking it apart, you're finding the smoothest transitions, the smooth little platforms where you can get both wheels in, where it's not gonna land and be something abrupt like it would be if we were going this way, like that one is back there. If we can get our front wheel over stuff like that and yet still keep ourselves jumping and light through things like this, it's- What's he got? What's he got? Oh, oh, oh. See a difference. Feeling it, buddy. Sick. Feel it. Oh yeah. Oh whoop. Alex didn't stop us. No, Dude, four hours consecutive, no break. no break. Never. I just had helmet radios. That's how we talked. I was like, right. Put your toes in. Pick your knee up. Yeah, your toes was in. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like we did some passing drills and stuff at the end, like some onboard would have been pretty cool if I had a GoPro, but unfortunately I did not and my phone was dead so I couldn't get any clips of that last section that we worked. Um, so other than that, you know, it was a good day and I, I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys maybe learn a thing or two. I don't know, it's it's hard to put everything into uh, into the vlog with the training class thing and, uh, and make it not too boring to watch or listen to. So uh, that being said, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. As always, be sure to uh, stay tuned for the next one, which will be Ironman 2023. We'll finish out the CSC season, and uh, yeah, then maybe we'll do some more training class vlogs, some other stuff. And let me know if you guys have any any ideas. 